What's our first word? Drop. Drop. Second word? Cover. Last two words? Hold on. Okay. During the great central U.S. shakeout, communities throughout the region are encouraged to do what this fourth grade class in Jefferson City, Missouri is doing, participate in an earthquake preparedness drill. Put your hand behind your head. Don't face that window if you can. This simulation shows what can happen during a real earthquake and why during the shakeout, millions of people will practice how to protect themselves at the same time. It's the largest drill of its kind ever to be held in this area of the country. We want people to know what to do when the ground is shaking. We want it to become an automatic sort of response. You don't have a lot of time to react. So drop, cover, and hold on is a very simple, basic message for people to do. So everybody ready to try this? Are we ready at this, this table? Yes! Are you ready in the back here? Yes! Are you ready over here? Yes! Okay. I think the ground is shaking. Drop, cover, hold on. These students understand that most earthquake-related injuries are caused by falling objects like bookcases, electronics, or other heavy items. That's why they protect their heads and hold on so that the shaking or debris won't knock over their desks, leaving them vulnerable to injury. A person's first instinct might be to try to run outside during an earthquake, but that is the wrong thing to do. There are just too many things that are on the sides of buildings, uh, parapets, cornices, ornamental type designs that are on the sides of buildings, particularly brick buildings, that are going to become very unstable potentially and fall down and hurt and even kill people. Earthquakes come without warning and are over quickly, so there probably would not be time to get out of a building. Just like in floods or tornadoes, people need to know how to react instantly during an earthquake, which is why the shakeout is important. It provides a time to practice before it's too late. And Elijah's going to drop. These students have learned more than just how to recite drop cover, hold on, they understand why it makes sense. Because if, um, if something was to fall and you didn't have any protection, you could get hurt. I learned it's safe to be inside under something that when an earthquake happens. Uh oh, I think the ground's shaking. I think we might be having an earthquake. Children and adults alike can learn an important lesson by participating in the shakeout. The drill is free, easy to do, and open to the public. You don't want to have the ground shaking underneath you and then be stopping there on the street or in the classroom or whatever and thinking to yourself, gee, I know there's something I should be doing now that the ground's shaking. We want it to be as automatic as possible. To learn more about how your family, school, business, or community can participate in the Great Central U.S. Shakeout, visit shakeout.org slash central U.S.